everyone and welcome to next tutorial. This time I will show you how to do your custom wrap on your bus. Before we jump into the Unreal Engine, we have to prepare our own wrap. So this is the template that's provided by Still Life Studios. And today I will try to recreate the Prague Transport Company decal and wrap. So as you can see it's pretty simple. We just red on the bottom and then white. So let's jump to an Photoshop and begin. So I recommend doing it in Photoshop since it's the easiest way. Well, you can use any graphic program you want. So I will try to eyeball it. And I can see that I made it too big. Oh, let's see how it works. So uh, we will start at the door side. Uh, I will do the red, the red one, so as you can see there is the red part and for the rest I will use white as it will go through the window all the way to the top, although here is a little bit of black it, it would be hard to to eyeball it, for so, so for this tutorial I will just keep it as simple as possible. As you can see here are the yellow lines, uh, what I recommend is going over them because sometimes uh, they do show up in the game if you, if you just leave them alone. So this is the right side, we've done. That's the side with the doors. So because the decal, and uh, I keep saying decal but it's wrap, because the wrap looks the same from the other side, we'll just simply copy it. So we will choose these two layers, we will merge them into one, and we will copy them. So as you can see, we have them copied here, and if, you, if we simply put them here, it would mean that the red will be on top and the, the white on the bottom. So what do we want to do? is to rotate them uh, one, 180 degrees so right now the red is in bottom and the yellow is on the top and as buses in Prague have white white roof I'll add another white rectangle in here so right now uh, this thing is kind of prepared but uh, as you can see there is a logo on the side and as I don't want to put put it in the middle, because there could be doors, I'll put it a little bit around here. So I'll just put the decal in here, uh, make it a little bit smaller, and put it around here, I would say. Uh, it is going to be bigger than this, uh, but I believe it's going to be okay. So... Now you can see uh, here is the window marked on the front and the rear uh, because uh, these windows are in roughly the same position on every bus but the other other parts are not. So again I'll do it white uh, with uh, this time a little bit black off on top. So I will do a right uh, square, the white one. Then I will add a little bit of black. Uh, as I just now realized, I shoot them at the same time since it's this pretty easy. So I will do a black part in here. I'll move it a little bit lower. Make it black right now. And then I want to do a. I want to do. The red part again. So, as I said earlier, this is gonna be eyeballing. So I don't know if with if it will uh, fit together. Uh, I might do some do some moving around, but uh, I believe the most important part is to show it for you how it's done. So, next thing on the front, there is a there is a logo again. So I will just hide these 
So front is here. And I will simply copy and paste. Uh, or I will rather duplicate this one again. And I will move it. Uh, move it to the front. Uh, I believe it could be around here. Sounds seems like in the middle. And I will have to move it on top. And as you can see, there is a number which tells the bra company which uh, which bus it is. So once again, I will just hide it a little bit and put the number in there. So I will do like 4040. And I will do it much smaller. Uh, because this is huge. So like this could be good. Now I'll put it roughly around here. So uh, let's put everything back together. Uh, let's save it. And I do recommend saving it as PNG uh, as the Unreal Engine just works better with PNGs. And you can name it uh, as you like. So I'll name it a DPP uh, as Dopravní podnik Praha which is the name of Prague Transport Company and I'll just save it and let's jump back into Unreal Engine. You can see we're back in Unreal Engine and as of now uh, you cannot do standalone wraps you have to do wrap and a decal in one so I will just uh, redo my uh, Prague tra Transport Company decal so i'll add a wrap in it so i will just select the wrap in here re-import and save as you could see i just copy and pasted the texture of the decal it doesn't matter the unreal will sort it out itself so right now let's go to mod info and this time uh, close the decals and we will add a bus wraps so Click plus texture. Uh, I'll rename it uh, real quick so we just know what it is. So yeah, it's wrap right now. So as you can see, we just select it. Uh, we have to set the wrap ID, uh, otherwise the game would be confused. So I'll do this ID, and for myself, I need to just and one version in number. So yeah, uh, we just added the wrap into the mod. So all we have to do now is cook the mod, which will take some time again, as it has to process everything in. Right now we've added another texture that is uh, 2000 by 2000 pixels. So it's uh, getting harder and harder for Unreal to do it, but still pretty easy thing to do. As you can see, we're just getting some warnings, but no errors. And that's crucial to have zero errors. I press any key, uh, copy it to game folder, uh, as we've done it, and let's jump up to the game. Right now, uh, I'll do a new company to test the mod. Uh, we have to enable the mod, as expected, and just see what we've created. We're in the game. Uh, let's open up skins. Uh, I don't know why it shows twice, but it doesn't matter at this point. So, as you can see, as I mentioned earlier, you have to switch this. Uh, as we switched it, the red is on the bottom. So, I see that the eyeballing pretty much almost worked out. Uh, there is the logo itself on the front. Uh, here, unfortunately, I put it in either one of those doors. So my eyeballing wasn't really good, uh, as well as the uh, number, uh, it's like somewhere in here, but, or maybe in, in, the, in the light, but the main part of the wrap actually works, so the only thing, the rear is a little bigger, so as you can see there is, uh, there is a little bit of work needed in here. But uh, the decal itself works, I mean wrap, 
and to top it all off uh, we can add a decal itself on the side as it didn't show up so we can do it like this we can just simply put it in here as I've done it earlier and yeah pretty much we're done in here so yeah let's put it on the back actually so uh, this is how you do a wrap for bus simulator 18 I think it is fairly easy if you just carefully plan out your layout and do the wrap correctly in some graphic editor like Photoshop and then the importing to Unreal is actually pretty easy and in the game as well so I hope you I hope you liked this this tutorial uh, I hope it was helpful for you and tune in next time to see some other more modding tutorial so until then thanks for watching and see you later